What's up guys, Jonathan Gauthier here. If you haven't watched our prior video about the world's greatest horseman and all that, uh, we'll put the link down in the description. I encourage you to go watch it. If you have seen it, then I guess you expected that this video was gonna be following it up. Uh, we recorded that the same day and I was working with Bunny on, on what I like to see during the first interactions, let's say the first seven to 10 days, uh, interacting with young horses and what are my priorities, what it is that I like to do. And again, this is a subject that can cover just a very, very wide variety of things and exercises and there are so many approaches and methods that are great and, and things that I like to do but generally speaking you know on a day-to-day -day basis grabbing a young horse and first interacting with this, your horse, this young horse in the round pen for the first seven to ten days these are the things that I like to do and uh, and and the results that I like to get so anyways I hope that you've enjoyed that you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah without further ado let's get after it And that brings me to the second step, and it's actually gonna be part of how I teach my horses to stand still, okay? So I have this technique that I've developed over the years, and, and I, I spoke with a, <laughs> with a psychologist once that explained to me a technique called the MDR, that is a technique that they use for, post, uh, for PTSD, uh, for treating PTSD and, uh, in humans, and they explain how you know how the person who invented this technique was was you know figured out why walking on a sidewalk or down the street just or at the park and and why it's so calming why it has such a calming effect is because when you look left and you look right and you look left and you look right and you think about positive things or nice things then that has a way of of bringing your energy back into balance and also recording that positive moment in your mind that you can use that down the road uh, in order to you know to calm you down whenever you get stressed out so what I figured out is that hey that connects very well with how I always do a lot of flexions and lateral flexions with my horses left and right until I get a perfect transition from left and right and then they relax themselves and lick their lips and they're I feel like I bring them back to their Zen state to the neutral state and so and so this is why that I've since then connected that with something that I was already doing with my horses, but now in a different way, okay? So the first thing that I do with my young horses when I interact with them in the, in the round pen is going to be to test their, you know, their fight or flight instinct and also, uh, you know, teach them how to, to uh, you know, teach, kind of put them on the spot a little bit, scare them a little bit and, and, and trap them a little bit to see how you know how hard they'll react and use that technique to bring them back down to calm them down and relax them bring them back into their neutral zen state and then reward them and so sooner rather than later i will be able to use this i will be able to use this to always you know record everything that we're doing positive like if she does something nice for me i'm gonna go and do that and i'm gonna show you here in a minute what it is but anyways i'm gonna use this to record all those positive moments as i do my training so that down the road later when i do my lateral flexions left and right and she's got them you know figured out very well to where she's very soft both ways and i can just do a little bit a little movement left and right and that instantly brings her back into uh, into a zen state and so this way that allows me to put pressure here and there and when i feel it's a little much I have a tool that will let me bring it back down to neutral, okay? So here's what I'm going to do for So in order to do this uh, uh, more effectively, I'm going to use the side pull, okay? So with my young horses, I like to use the side pull. It's not, uh, you know, it's not, uh, you know, a must. You don't have to use a side pull. You can use a Bozal, you can use a, a Hackamore, you can use any type of tools that works for your program. I like to use the side pull because I'm gonna be focusing a lot on the lateral flexions in the early stages of training. And so therefore, the, the side pull is going to be, shh, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. So the side pull is going to be, is going to be the, the favorable tool for me. Okay. So now that I have that on, so you can see she's a little bit, you know, a little bit fidgety about me touching her hair or touching her up here. So I'm gonna make sure that I do that as often and as much as possible, okay? So it's very important to interact with your young horses, you know, being very confident in your movement. So you don't wanna be fast and scary and just too much. And, and you know, you, again, it's all about energy. You don't wanna come out here with too much energy, but you don't wanna come out here frightened. You don't wanna be too careful or too slow or too gentle because it, that's, that's to me is, 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 it looks like you're up to something. 
and that may be a, that may be more scary for your horse than if you were a little bit more confident in your movement okay so this is what is very important in the way that you pet your horses the way that you touch your horses do it with 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 uh, with confidence and and so don't be afraid to approach your horses in a way that why are you scared? You know what? You know that you know. I'm not gonna hurt you. You know, and it's and it's the way to the way that I like interacting with my horses. Okay. So the technique that I was talking about is I'm gonna come here in front of my horse and I'm gonna be very careful and step my head back. Okay, because I don't want my horse to jump on me or swing its head and hit me in the face. So it's very careful. I'm gonna do it very careful. But I'm gonna grab a hold of that halter here, a, a, a little bit in 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 and with and and I may crank up my energy levels here. You know, in a threatening fashion. But I'm not going to hurt her on the on the contrary okay so what I'm going to do is grab that right here and then I'm gonna move her left and right with pressure with slight pressure downwards okay so I'm not trying to pull her head down okay but I have a light pressure on that head stall because the horses when they get scared and they want to fly their head goes up right and and away so I'm gonna pull a little bit down and towards me okay and I'm gonna move her head left and right like that so she's not fighting it very much, which is good, but you can tell that I've done this a few times. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and repeat that, and sometimes with a little bit more strength, a little more pressure, there you go. And when I feel that I have a soft movement, left to right, okay, and she's just relaxing, then it shows me that I got her energy back into balance, okay? So, and then the goal following that is going to be that whenever I stop doing it and I release, then she, she can, she's okay to keep in her head flat or head level or she may lower her head more and if I if she does that or if the horse does that it's going to be a very good indicator to me that the horse trusts me okay so a horse will not stand beside you with you sort of shaking their head around or or, or, or handling them you know forcibly that way and just you know lower their head and lick their lips if they were not trusting you or if they were not respecting you or were afraid of you okay so it's very silly uh, it's very silly but it's something that I'm going to do a lot of times in order to sort of record in my horse's mind what it is that we've done today or what it is positive that we've just done now okay and I'm gonna record that and when she lowers her heads and relax see and they're licking her lips chewing okay so that's I've brought that energy back into balance okay so this is something that you know for the first week or two I'm gonna be doing a lot from the ground and then once I get to riding her and stepping on her I'm gonna do it the same thing but with lateral flexions from on top of her okay guys thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you stayed until the end I appreciate you very much if you found any value in this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed to the channel please do so as it helps me grow and reach more people and uh, follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram, as we have uh, frequent giveaways from our generous sponsors. So anyways, this is, me, this is it for me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.